Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of In Another Thing. I'm your host, Charlotte Cole, here for DustyCartridges.com. So today I wanted to talk about E3, the gaming industry's Super Bowl, or Oscars, or the Oscars meet the Super Bowl, which, whichever one. It's the big event for all of gaming, the gaming industry, where we get to see new games, we get to play the demos, and it's also when the big three have their press conferences announcing the new upcoming games. Sony, Xbox, and Nintendo. And we were excited to report live from the Xbox press conference, conference that we actually love, especially with the announcement of not Project Scorpio, but Xbox One X. But I don't wanna talk about the press conferences just yet. I wanna talk about the games. There were hundreds of games, of course, but there's really only one that got this reaction. Oh my God, yes! <gasps> no way! <gasps> It's Metroid. <laughs> That's right, Metro Prime 4. Nintendo released the trailer, or the teaser, or the number, and everyone just lost their minds. Meanwhile, I was sitting there going, okay. Now, there's no trailer, there's no video game footage. I mean, we really don't know anything. We know that there's a logo. We know that there's a new company doing it and we know that there's on a Switch. That's it, that's all we know. So when you ask gamers who won E3, many will say Nintendo, why? Because of Metro Prime 4. Really? Now clearly, I have nothing against Nintendo. We're called Dusty Cartridges for goodness sake. Where do you think that came from? Now of course we have love for Nintendo. They played a huge role in my childhood, a huge role in me becoming the game that I am, but perhaps, I don't know, maybe I'm just outgrowing them as a grown man who still plays video games. Now my top 10 favorite games from this past E3 were God of War, Spider-Man, Anthem, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Call of Duty 3, Need for Speed, Assassin's Creed Origins, Super Mario Odyssey, Dragon Ball Z, Fighter Z, and Beyond Good and Evil 2. Now as for Nintendo, the only thing that really got me excited was the announcement of a Pokemon RPG game. And that's it. There was no footage of it, of course. So of course this brings me around to the question, why all the excitement for Metro Prime 4? Is it an iconic game? Yes. Is it an iconic character? Absolutely. Do we expect anything different? Well, we're really not sure because we don't know anything. So forgive me for not jumping around, getting all excited, running into walls for a logo. I mean, no disrespect to anyone who did that. I mean, I love the fact that you're excited about games. I think that's great, but I'm a little bit more skeptical. I'm going to play the wait and see game. And then maybe then I'll say, oh, this is great. This is the greatest thing Nintendo has ever done. Screw Mario, Nintendo for life. So Nintendo, I definitely still have love for you. You're still a part of my childhood. And now you're a part of my children's childhood as they grow into their gamers life. I guess I'm still a bit old school. So I definitely want to give a shout out to my man Franz, who's probably watching this right now, making his own rebuttal video, shaking his head, calling me all kinds of names, but it's cool. Make your video. I would love to see it. I'm excited about what's coming next. We here at Dusty Cartridges are excited, and we really hope you guys are too, as gaming continues to grow and makes its presence felt. So please join us here at DustyCartridges.com as we give you more gaming news, reviews, and updates. Check out our game shows as well as our podcast. Please leave any comments that you may have. We would really, really, really love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Shalako. This is In Another Thing on DustyCartridges.com. I'll see you soon.